we have a film also from Arrow Video. This is an early 60s Japanese film. Um, it's very interesting. I'm going to sort of get into it a little bit and then give you a little bit more context after we run the trailer. But basically, it's, it's as though you are watching a Japanese um, play set back in, in the olden times about fantastic creatures and how they influence the lives of nobility and things like that. At any rate, watch the trailer. It's a pretty gorgeous movie to look at. It is called The Mad Fox. This one was interesting. Uh, a lot of the Japanese cinema that Aero Video has been releasing falls into the category of gangster film or horror film or maybe a little bit in the realm of martial arts, but not a lot. And this, this really isn't that. This is a melodrama. This is very much... Uh, it feels like a, a, a grandly filmed version of a kabuki play. It's uh, the, the storyline. Okay, I had a hard time following this. I may have just been distracted. It is beautiful to the eye. If you see that trailer, that trailer is representative of what the transfer looks like and, and overall what the style of the film is. You have sequences that just look like it's actors, you know, on a soundstage, but then all of a sudden, like, the back wall folds down and rotates and they're in a field. And there's all kinds of, if you think about the most... Um, involved and impressive, like th literally theatrical tricks that you've ever seen on stage in a theater, like a T-H-E-A-T-R-E -E with live actors. Um, this film replicates that kind of thing, and it's very impressive. And the costumes and the lighting effects, and I mean, and I say special effects, it's not like laser beams and, and flying chickens or anything. It's really like just beautiful. There's a movie called Hero by Jean Imo that I love that uh, Miramax put out years ago, and that that had that took that to a larger degree. Just gorgeous cinematography, although less in the realm of theatrical tricks. Um, so, Mad Fox is this strange tale of of a, of a kingdom, and it's 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 you know ancient Japan, and there's astrologers are trying to to bring people together, love, and uh, the spirit of a fox is is in, in the form of a woman, and I had a hard time following it. I could read you the Arrow video synopsis, but it would take me quite a while to get through it all. It's pretty complicated. It's a melodrama. It's like a, sort of like a soap opera. There's a little swordplay and a little intrigue, but really it's about, it's about love and destiny and, and spirits and all sorts of things like that. I wasn't really into it. I think it was a little bit more low-key than what I was looking for in this film and at the time I watched it but it's apparently never been released outside of Japan before. So Aero Video is bringing this movie to the world, which is great. Aero Video is, does a mission that I love. It's, it's yes to entertain. It's yes to give people what they want. They're going to put out, you know, Argento or Bava or whatever that they put out in England or here. But they're also going to give you movies you've never seen before. And they're going to give you genres you may have never seen before. So while I didn't really care for The Mad Fox, beyond the visuals, which were great, this is a movie that I probably could have enjoyed just as much, if not more, by just turning off the sound and watching the imagery and not trying to follow the story. Um, maybe the problem is the, the reason Police Squad was taken off the air. It's something you have to pay attention to. And I think at the time I watched this, I was a little bit distracted. But at any rate, it is beautiful to look at. I'm glad I saw it. And uh, if you're a fan of Japanese cinema and melodrama, uh, Mad Fox is a good one to look for. Um, it's got an audio commentary, I believe, and a featurette that sort of gets into the context of the film and the, the legends that it's based on and, and the director and the actor. Uh, same director did Bloody Spirit Mount Fuji, which had been an Arrow release, a black and white film, which Arrow released not too long ago, uh, which was quite good. So um, it, it's worth a look. It, again, I can't recommend it to just anybody, but if specifically you're into Japanese films and films set in this era, uh, it, it's pretty cool and it's extremely well done.